my name is Ilse and welcome to my channel today I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys and I'm gonna show you how to make a set of ram horns this is a custom order uh, I made and I want to share with you guys how I did this so stay tuned here we go voila uh, as you can see I already made the base of these horns um, one tip is broken off as you can see here uh, and this side has a double curl um, I started with uh, the relief on the inner side and now we're gonna sculpt the top side to make it more realistic and um, yeah I have my clay right here I have some water right here and a towel I already got a, a piece of clay rolled out and I'm gonna start with this side and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make the base a little bit moist so the clay will stick better like this and then I'm gonna lay it on top and as I do that I'm press pressing down the clay like this just with two thumbs and the clay I don't need I take off It's okay if it looks a little bit messy in the beginning because later we, you won't see that anymore um, okay I got the first part we got a little bit clay left over and I'm gonna roll this out making this a little bit wet again so Okay, this base is done. I'm gonna move to the other base. I'm gonna even it out a little. So as you can see, it has a little bumps and things and make sure you check them next to each other. I see this one is a little bit higher, so I'm gonna take something off the top of this one. What we have to do now is take a little sculpting tool. I'm gonna go to this one first. And what you wanna do is uh, put stripes on it. Press it down in the clay, like this. And as you go along, this is really fun to do, you have to make sure that the gaps between these um, lines is getting smaller and smaller. The clay on the side, by the way, is drying out very quickly, so sometimes you see me do this, uh, that's to make it moist again. Okay, as you can see, I'm making the things between the, the lines smaller over here. Now I'm gonna take this uh, sculpting tool and I'm gonna press from this inner side a little bit down. So you, I don't know if you can see it, so you have a little edge over here. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And now I'm taking my thumbs and I'm pressing it down a little. If you have clay left over, just put it away. But as you can see now, we have more of a crocodile-like um, shape over here. Making the sides wet again. Now I'm taking this tool and I'm just gonna 
stripe it down just adding details like this you can do it fast it doesn't have to be perfect and I always do it from the top to the bottom so I start here and then I go down okay now the smaller details are done I'm gonna wet this toothpicky kind of thing and I'm going in between the ridges to make it a little bit more uh, wider because I like that better as you can see the surface isn't perfect um, that's okay because we're gonna sand it later first it has to dry um, it's air dried clay so just keep it on your desk and uh, come back uh, uh, the next day I always do this in days and we're back I sanded the horns I used uh, this piece of sandpaper also I figured out where the holes are gonna go where the holes need to be for the elastic strap or elastic band and now I'm gonna use these tools to make the holes in the horns lining out where the point has to go and there we go okay now all that is done and we're gonna paint it now and since um, the customer wants it a little bit of a bony color uh, that's actually a pretty easy paint job for me so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now uh, what we need is uh, some paint I'm using white some brown colors and I'm gonna use this brain brush and yeah I'm gonna mix it up until I am satisfied with the color I'm making it a little bit darker because we're gonna fade it out a lot okay now I have my horn over here and I'm gonna start painting And what you want to do is uh, water it down pretty bad and I'm gonna use some paper towel I'm gonna use some paper towel to wipe the top layer off as you can see wetting it down a little bit more and wiping it off now I'm going in uh, on the uh, deeper areas with a little bit darker color um, I want it a little bit lighter and uh, I'm gonna take the flesh tone color um, and dry brush it all over these horns I'm gonna use a new paintbrush uh, and this one is a flat one uh, as you can see it, it is more flat one tip, don't put too much paint on your paintbrush because then it will fill in these little areas and then yeah, it will become one color again. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and just go in this direction and gently go over the whole surface of the horns. As you can see, they are getting a little bit lighter. The paint job is done. I have two horns now that are freshly painted. I'm gonna let them dry now. They are done. 
I use this for uh, the protective layer, the varnish, and now I'm gonna put in the string. Done. I've put a black string in it uh, because the customer has a black hair so uh, it would blend more in her hair. Um, this was the video, the first tutorial video I made so please be kind but let me know if you like it and if you want to see something else or different or just let me know in the comments. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Subscribe, that would be lovely. Uh, yeah, big kisses for me.